Whew. Let me get this honor breather off. Oh, whew. getting some oxygen in. Perfect timing. Hey, listen, we are going over adult oxygen devices. And we, we got some kids here, but we're going to focus on the adult leader flows and stuff. That's why I got to really point that out because some of these leader flows are, it could be interpreted for adult or, 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 or kids or child. We're really going to focus on the adult side of it. We'll get some little bit of kids here. But today's video, oxygen devices. Welcome to RT World. My name is Mr. Cates, and you can see we have some stuff up already. So let's get right, right into it. So oxygen devices. All right, guys. So this is what we're going to do to help our patients with their oxygen needs, right? So we have a category, and these are the categories here, low flow, high flow, and enclosure. These are three categories that we have. So low flow, high flow, and enclosure. First one we're going to cover is low flow. And the first thing that uh, one that we're going to talk about is nasal cannula, OK? Nasal cannula, or also NC, right? Nasal cannula, OK? The next one is simple mask. And really, guys, there are other masks that you learn in your respiratory programs and whatnot. But really, I'm really picking out the main ones that, as a clinician that you would need to know, test taking that you need to know. These are the most common and the most used ones that you will use in your clinical practices and board exams, guys. So simple mask, okay? And then we have our non-rebreather. Okay, and I'm gonna put the names that you could see it out there. Non-rebreather, simple mask, okay? Just like that, all right? Now, before we go to the next one, okay, so I really gotta call this out because if you need to select one of these masks, you need to know why, when to do it and why you do it. Well, the first thing I'm gonna put, there's a line here. You guys need to know that these are variable. They're not precise, guys. They're not a dent. Like, if you say it's 28% FiO2, it's not a guarantee. These are estimated. These are approximates. They are variable because there's different factors, like in a nasal cannula. How much cannula of those prongs fill up your nares? If it's complete and your mouth is closed, you might be getting way more. But if there's a, there's a space, which is supposed to be about half the nares, proper fitting, then you should get closer to the, the uh, estimates that they have. But I need to call that out. It is not a precise. When you're giving 28% nasal cannula, it might not be 28%. It's an estimate. So we do not chart it in percentage of FiO2. We would chart this in leader flow, okay? That's one caveat here. So if we took this, this would be Oh, the percentages is what we're going to talk about now is on our nasal cannula, we can achieve adult ranges, guys, 24% to 40%. Okay? 24 to 40%. And I've breaking or we've breaking down this nasal cannula a little bit and we have a sole video so if you haven't watched that before you watch this one that will go solely in the nasal cannula I highly suggest that you click over that video after you continue to watch this one or click there and come back whatever but we have that nasal cannula video out there and that will break down the leader flow and it'll simplify that for you okay so we're in this video we're just going to unpack all of them here so nasal cannula 24 percent to 40 percent adult leader flows and and what those liter flows we're going to look at is a two liters up to six liters. Okay, and that is a minute per minute. Okay, two liters to six liters on your on your um, on your flow meters, guys, with the nasal cannula. Okay, and so what is that nasal cannula? Well, there's a picture. That's a nasal cannula. You guys should all know that prongs pointed down like snake bites right here around the ear choking just as you see the placement on this picture and then you set your leader flow from two liters to six liters and you're going to possibly achieve in that fio2 range okay so that would be your lowest output right of, of oxygen that we have in these devices right now our second one is our simple mask okay and on our simple mask we are looking to achieve about 35 to 50% FiO2. 
And our liter flow on this one is five liter minimum, five liters, okay? All right, so simple mass, right guys? Five, to, um, I've got to complete it, sorry, I didn't just realize. Five liters per minute, five to 10 liters per minute, okay? All right, and on this one guys, on the simple mass, it's a minimum of five liters, why? Because, let me show you here guys, what the simple mass looks like, and if you don't recall, then I'll show you right here, let me just bring this up. All right, so we're looking at simple mass. This is a simple mass. There is no reservoir bag on there. You see that? We have these exhal exhalation ports. So a minimum of five liters, and they might ask you that, and I'm pretty sure they, they ask it. If you haven't, you probably heard it before. A minimum of five liters, why? That is to what? To flush out the CO2 so you don't rebreathe the CO2 that could be trapped in that mass through those exhalation ports so you uh, increase the liter flow to a minimum of five liters, it will push out that CO2 and you won't have any problems rebreathing that CO2. But again, this is now, if you took this at first level, right, the lowest level, and then you go to simple mass, this would be your mid-level, your medium range, you see that? This right here is what? Moderate, so low, and then we get your mid, moderate, and simple, right? So think about that lower FiO2, medium FiO2, and then the highest FiO2, okay? And that would be the non-rebreather is at a 10 liter minimum up to flush or 15 liters. But what's the real thing? Start at 10 and go up. Keep bag inflated. Keep reservoir, res bag inflated. That's the main thing. If the if the bag is collapsing on inspiration, we need to increase the flow. It should not completely collapse. And that is a test taking question as well. 10 liters, but keep the bag inflated, okay? Now, this is your low flow right here. You're gonna stick to these three masks, nasal cannula, right? Nasal cannula, simple mass non-rebreather keep them in kind of those categories one two three low medium high but i really need you to understand this when i say high that is high high fio2 that's for this one high fio2 it's not a high flow guys it's high fio2 it's still low flow all of these are low flow but this one is a high FiO2, and what they look at that is 100%, but in actuality, it's more in the 80% range, right? But I need you to consider this one, or to see this one as 100%, okay guys? See this one as 100%, because that's the way they want you to see it, all right? All right, so high FiO2, yes, but not high flow. Do not confuse the non-rebreather guys, okay? Also, remember, it's a variable FiO2. It's not a precise FiO2, all right? All right, so let's go down to high flow. And on high flow, guys, we have, okay, AEM, or air entrainment mask, which is also your Venturi mask, right? Your VM, okay? And on your Venturi mask, okay, you got what is this one? This one can be 24% to 55%. And guess what? I'm gonna tell you right now, this one's variable, but on a high flow, this one is what they call fixed or precise. If they have a question and the doctor says they need a precise FiO2, or they need exact, or there's something they're telling you that it, it, it's just not, give them around there, it's something that they need to fix, then you're definitely gonna go to this category and there's only one or two to choose from on the high flow because this is a fixed precise FiO2. That's an air entrainment mask. If you see AEM, that's air entrainment mask. That is your Venturi mask, okay? And we can see our ranges are from 24 to 50, uh, 55%. 
all right? And then on these Venturi masks, you see them a few different ways. I posted a picture right here. You can do those interchangeable, right? And they'll give you the leader flow that you're supposed to set it at. And then you'll put it at that leader flow and it's already dialed in and it'll give you that exact, right? The air entrainment. It's an exact, a precise, okay? The other way that you might see it are there's a bunch of adapters, okay, on one. And you would just select the adapter that you would need. But there's also a different one where it's all included. And that's this green one. And it, it's kind of hard to see. But if you look close, there's some white markings on there on that green part at the, you know, at the bottom, at the base there where it connects to the oxygen oxygen tubing and that one is like you can pull it down and move it and it has these like lines and you line it up to the FiO2 that you need because it's a precise FiO2 and it will give you the leader flow that you would also set it to so then you just plug it in click it to the one you need you don't need all these adapters it's just a different way that they have or that they um, there's a couple ways that they have our uh, manufacture these Venturi masks okay so that's just a couple ways just to see that but really that's not what we're here for you just need to know air entrainment mask high flow and what makes it a high flow device guys well, a high flow uh, device is any flow that can what? It can what? Output flow needs to be greater than 60 liters per minute. That's what makes it greater than 60 liters a minute output flow. That's what makes it a high flow, okay? This, this has to be able to produce uh, or provide an output flow of 60 liters or, or, uh, per minute or greater, okay? The next one is high flow it's in the name nasal cannula do not get that twist, uh, twisted with nasal cannula it is high flow nasal cannula guys high flow nasal cannula this one is a great choice when you need humidification and you need a little bit of positive pressure and you get this high flow okay that's what causes your your uh, positive pressure in there right it's still um, and I'll bring up a picture so you can see. This is a high flow nasal cannula. You can see there is a humidifier right here. You can set the temperature. You can set the output flow. There's, there's the humidification that goes in there. And the patient, okay? So before we move into anything, right? Not a breather. I'm just going to kind of go back and forth. But I really want you to know this is not about the flows at this point. The air entrainment mask, that's a mask. Anything that's a mask. If they present this in a way on your MBRC where the patient needs to be able to eat or anything like that, you got to go to the cannula level. That's the positive things on those cannulas. High flow or nasal cannula, you can still eat with those on. Okay? The other ones are uncomfortable, can cause some claustrophobic or phobia if, that, if the patient feels that way, and a, a nasal cannula might be your selection for that, okay? Just to make sure that you're on track and that you guys know that. That's another thing that you could see on oxygen devices, all right? High flow nasal cannula. The thing with the high flow nasal cannula, guys, and I'll put this here, this one could be 35% to 100 and here's the thing it's fixed and precise guys you can get up to 35 to 100 percent on a high flow nasal cannula guys okay all right and and like i said that's the big thing is variable fixed precise keep these in those orders right low medium high but we're talking about fio2 down here, precise FiO2, and we kind of have the lower, right, mid, or low to mid, and then we have, which we really say mid to high. You see the coverages? That's why you select these devices, and we only talk about these devices because they cover the low, medium, high, low, medium, medium, high. You see that? Very good. All right. So let's get into our enclosures here. Our enclosure is the first one we're gonna talk about, okay? And we're gonna talk about is the Oxy Hood. And these ones right here, guys, um, are these are gonna be neonates. These are gonna be a neonatal, all adults, and then we come down here. Oxy Hood, and then the last one that we're gonna talk about is our Isolet, okay? Our Isolet, okay? All right, I'll just leave it like that. Now, the thing with this is, we got to know this, okay? The oxy hood, just like we said over here, right? Oxy hood is fixed, okay? This one is 
a variable. I select is a variable, okay? So we really need to know that this one's a variable and this is a fix. That's why we select this, okay? So then going back on this, we go oxyhood. What are we looking at on oxyhood? Oxyhood right here, it could be 21% to 100%. And what do we say? Fixed. Okay, on this one, we are looking at 40% to 50% FIO2. And we know this is variable, variable, okay? And this one is, this one's uh, greater to equal seven liters a minute. That's what the flow is. And then on this one, you're gonna do eight to 15 liters a minute, okay, for the isolate. All right, guys, so that is oxygen devices, okay? So I really want to just make sure that you know this is the order of operation for test taking. This is the way that you'll see it. The couple little caveats that you need to know. Nasal cannula, watch that separate video. Simple mask, it does not have a reservoir. Keep it at five liters to flush out CO2 minimum. It's the medium category or the mid-level. Non-rebreather, look at it at 100% as it's 100%. But we know that it's a variable, so we know. Right, start at 10 liters but you can increase or inflate the bag if you see it collapse, keep bag inflated, okay? That's your high FiO2. Low flow, variable, three masks to look at. High flow, air entrainment mask, low to medium. Uh, high flow nasal cannula, medium to high. Fixed or precise FiO2, there's only two to choose from, high flow. High flow, 60 liters per minute uh, or more, all right? That's what considered a high flow. Fixed, enclosures, fixed, there's only one, oxyhood. So if we're seeing this with the neonate, you need to select the oxyhood if it's precise or fixed. We need to achieve 21, that's the whole caveat. From very low to all the way, 100%. We want to be around seven liters per minute on that. Then you got an isolate. We need to know that's variable, okay? 40 to 50% achievement, and we're looking at eight to 15 liters in that isolate. That's for your enclosures. All right, guys, so these are the main, uh, these are the ones you really need to dial in, guys, for oxygen devices. So I really, really hope that you go through this video, you dial these in, because you will definitely see those. You need to know when to select what mask and what flow and whatnot okay so again my name is mr cates thank you for watching i hope to see you at the nasal cannula video